Development in the matter of R on the application of Gallagher Group Limited and others versus the Competition and Markets Authority. Lord Carnworth will explain the reasons for the judgment. <coughs> this appeal arises out of the investigation carried out by the Office of Fair Trading into price fixing in the tobacco industry. It was the policy of the OFT to apply principles of equal treatment in its investigations. The investigation led to findings of contravention of the Competition Act 1998 by 13 parties, including the two respondents to this appeal. In June 2008, both respondents had entered into early resolution agreements, or ERAs, with the OFT, in which they admitted infringement and offered cooperation in exchange for substantial reductions in the anticipated penalties which they paid. They did not appeal. Another party, TMR, also entered into an ERA and did not appeal, but before deciding not to appeal, they sought and obtained from the OFT an assurance that if others did appeal and were successful, they also would get the benefit. No such assurance was sought by or given to the respondent, and it is clear that the giving of the assurance to TMA was a mistake. In April 2010, the OFT made final findings of infringement against the parties under investigation, including the respondents and TMR. Six of the others appealed to the Competition Appeal Tribunal and were ultimately successful. TMR, citing the 2008 assurance, asked the OFT to withdraw the decision and repay the penalty, which it eventually agreed to do. The respondents argued that they should be given equal treatment um, but this was refused. They brought the present proceedings for judicial review. They failed in the High Court, but succeeded in the Court of Appeal, which held that the OFT's failure to repay the penalties to the respondents was, in the absence of objective justification for the difference in treatment, a breach of the public law duty of fairness and equal treatment. The Supreme Court unanimously allows the appeal I give the lead judgment with which the other justices agree, and Lord Sumption and Lord Briggs give concurring judgments. The reasons in brief are these. Public law recognises no freestanding principle of substantive fairness or equal treatment distinct from the ordinary principles of judicial review, such as rationality and legitimate expectation. Even accepting that there was a legitimate expectation of equal treatment arising from the public statements of the OFT, that would not in itself provide a basis for a financial remedy in the present proceedings, nor the reversal of financial penalties which had by then been lawfully imposed on and accepted by the respondents. All those who entered into ERAs knew of the possibility that other parties would appeal successfully. That was a risk the respondents took knowingly, TMR did not. TMR sought and obtained an assurance on which it claimed credibly to have relied. In 2012, OFT could reasonably take the view that if the assurance were not honoured, TMR would have had a strong case for permission to appeal to the tribunal out of time, whereas the respondents did not. If objective justification was needed for OFT departing from the approach to TMA, that was sufficient, and it involved no irrationality. The appeal is therefore allowed. Court will now adjourn.